Champions come and champions go, but these champions stayed around for quite a while. Today, we'll be looking at the longest reigning champions in WWE history. We're including every championship, from the WWE title to the 24-7 championship. We're only going to include individual title reigns and not combine multiple championship reigns a wrestler may have had with the same title. Additionally, we'll be looking at WWE's official title history. With that said, number 10, Pete Dunne. Before he was Butch, the Bruce Wright made his WWE debut as part of a tournament to crown the first ever NXT UK Champion. While Pete Dunn did make it to the final round, he was defeated by Tyler Bate. However, a few months later, Dunn got another opportunity to face Bate, and this time, he won. Following the victory, Pete Dunn began a lengthy title reign as the United Kingdom Champion. He defended the title a total of 20 times, even at non-WWE shows. Finally though, in April 2019, Dunn met his match when he took on Walter. This ended Pete Dunn's title reign at 685 days. Number 9, Roman Reigns. Since Breaking from the Shield in 2014, Roman Reigns has quickly been turned into WWE's biggest star. He's won multiple championships, including the Universal title. While the Big Dog's first reign with the championship in 2018 was a modest 63 days, Roman would win the title a second time in 2020. Reigns defeated Braun Strowman and The Fiend to kick off his second Universal Championship reign. This also began Reigns' tribal chief persona, and he still has yet to lose the title. While many have tried, none have been able to defeat Roman Reigns. As of this video's upload, Roman has been Universal Champion for 688 days, and that number continues to grow. Number 8, Walter. Not only did Walter beat Pete Dunn for the NXT UK Championship, but the man who would eventually be called Gunther also beat Dunn's title reign. Part of the reason for Walter's record-setting championship reign was due to the COVID-19 pandemic, as it put a pause on WWE shows in the UK. Nonetheless, it wouldn't be until Ilya Dragunov forced Walter to tap out that the ring general's reign came to an end. In total, Walter held the UK title for 870 days, or about two years and four and a half months. Number seven, Ted DiBiase. We are counting all WWE championships, including the Million Dollar Championship. In the late 80s, Ted DiBiase was frustrated they could not win or buy the WWE Championship. He then decided he would just create his own title, which he called the Million Dollar Championship. DiBiase would only defend the title three times while holding it, his third defense being against Virgil, which Ted lost. Because of this defeat, Ted DiBiase held the million dollar title for 905 days. Number 6, Pedro Morales. Morales is a name you may not have heard of, partially due to the fact they didn't debut in WWE until 1970. Not long after his first match, Pedro Morales would defeat Ivan Koloff to become the WWE Champion, back when the company was called the WWWF. This happened so long ago that Pedro Morales was only the fourth person to hold the WWE title. Even if you haven't seen a single Pedro Morales match, you have to be impressed with the fact they defend the title a total of 204 times during his reign. However, Pedro's time with the WWE Championship would come to an end when he was defeated by Stan Stasiak. This put Pedro Morales' reign at 1,027 days. If that sounds crazy, just keep watching. Number 5, Bruno San Martino. Bruno's another name mostly old school fans will know. However, he is considered by many to be one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, and you'll see why. After losing the WWE Championship in 1963, Bruno Sammartino would get another shot almost 10 years later in 1973. Bruno's opponent was the previously mentioned Stan Stasiak, who had just defeated Pedro Morales only 9 days earlier for the WWE title. Unfortunately for Stasiak, Bruno won and began a legendary title reign. The Italian straw man defended the title in 194 matches before losing to superstar Billy Graham. However, the defeat put Bruno San Martino's second WWE Championship reign at an impressive 1,237 days. Number 4, Hulk Hogan. January 23rd, 1984 was the night Hulkamania was born. The Hulkster defeated the Iron Sheik at Madison Square Garden, and that's all she wrote. Hogan helped turn WWE into the biggest wrestling company in the world and helped bring wrestling into pop culture. Over his first WWE Championship reign, Hulk Hogan fought the likes of King Kong Bundy, Randy Savage, and many others. It wouldn't be until Andre the Giant defeated Hogan, with some help from the referee, that the Hulkster's title reign ended. In total, Hulk Hogan stayed WWE Champion for 1,474 days, or a little longer than four years. Number 3, Bob Backlund. Newer WWE fans probably know Bob Backlund as the crazy, energetic WWE legend. However, back in his prime, Backlund was a serious competitor, and he proved this in 1978. Bob Backlund defeated superstar Billy Graham in New York City to win the WWE Championship. Once Backlund got a hold of the title, it was difficult for anyone to take it. In fact, the only reason Bob Backlund lost the WWE Championship was because his manager threw in the towel during a match against the Iron 
Shang-Chi. Despite the unceremonious ending, Backlund held on to the WWE Championship for 2,135 days, or just a little less than five years. However, it's gonna get even crazier. Number two, Bruno San Martino, again. As I mentioned before, Bruno was a two-time WWE Champion. Back in 1963, San Martino defeated the very first WWE Champion, Buddy Rogers, for the title. This kicked off a historic WWE Championship reign that still has not been beaten and likely never will. So how long did Bruno San Martino remain WWE Champion? 2,803 days, or roughly seven and a half years. That is insane, but there is one title reign that's even crazier. Number one, the fabulous Moolah. Now this one is controversial for a few reasons. Of course, Moolah herself is a controversial figure, given the stories of abuse that have come out about her. The WWE Hall of Famer also controlled women's wrestling for decades, which is why it comes as no surprise that she was the first WWE Women's Champion in 1956. Now if you thought all these other title reigns were crazy long, just wait till you hear this. The fabulous Moolah held the Women's Championship for 10,170 days. To put that in perspective, someone who was born on the day that Moolah won the title would be 27 years old when she lost it. Now, as I said, Moolah basically controlled women's wrestling during this time, which is one of the reasons her championship reign was so long. Still, Fabulous Moolah holds the title of longest champion in WWE history. However, some title reigns only last a few minutes. To see the top 10 shortest WWE World Championship reigns, watch this video.